Welcome to a lesson on subtracting fractions. To subtract fractions with the same or like denominators, we're going to keep the denominator the same and subtract the numerators. And then we'll simplify the fraction if possible. So for three-fifths minus one-fifth, since both denominators are five, it's going to stay five. And now we'll subtract the numerators. Since three minus one is equal to two, this difference is two-fifths. Let's take a look at the model for this. Here's the model for three-fifths. Here's the model for one-fifth. Notice if we have three pieces and we take away one piece, we'd be left with two pieces, where each piece represents one-fifth, so the difference is two-fifths. So it's important to remember that in order to subtract fractions, we must have a common denominator so that the pieces that we're subtracting are the same size. So if we have fractions with different or unlike denominators, we must first find the least common multiple of the denominators. This is called the least common denominator, or LCD. Once we find the LCD, we're going to create equivalent fractions with the common denominator. Then we'll keep the denominator the same and subtract the numerators. And then last, we'll simplify if possible. So for three-fourths minus one-half, we first need to find the least common multiple of four and two which would also be the smallest number divisible by both four and two. And this would be four. Another way to recognize this is that if we list multiples of two and list multiples of four, four will be the smallest number these two lists have in common. So if we count by twos, we'd have two, four, six, and so on. If we count by fours, we'd have four, eight, twelve, and so on. And notice how four is the least common multiple. So we want both denominators to be equal to four. Well, this denominator is already four, and since two times two is equal to four, we can multiply this denominator by two as long as we do the same to the numerator. This is like multiplying by two over two, which is equal to one. So now we have three-fourths minus, this would be two-fourths. And now that we have a common denominator, meaning we're subtracting pieces of the same size. The denominator is going to stay the same, and now we subtract the numerators. So we have three minus two, which is equal to one. So our difference is one-fourth, as we see here modeled. Now let's take a look at some more examples. Here we have five, six, minus seven-twelfths. Again, the first step is to find the least common multiple, or LCD, of six and twelve. This is the smallest number divisible by both six and twelve, which would be twelve. But if we need to, we can always list multiples of these. If we list multiples of six, we would have six, twelve, eighteen, and so on. If we list multiples of twelve, we would have twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six, and so on. And now we can see the least common multiple is twelve. So we want both denominators to be twelve. Again, so we're subtracting pieces of the same size. And since six times two is equal to twelve, we can multiply this by two as long as we do the same to the numerator. So now we would have ten twelfths minus seven twelfths. So our denominator is twelve. And now we'll subtract the numerators. We have ten minus seven, that's going to be equal to three. So our difference is three twelfths, but this does simplify because three and twelve share a common factor of three. To show this, we could write three as one times three, and we could write twelve as four times three. Three over three simplifies to one, so our simplified difference is one-fourth. Next, we have seven-tenths minus three-eighths. So the first step is to determine the LCD, or least common multiple, of ten and eight the smallest number divisible by both ten and eight, and that would be forty. But again, if we need to, we can list multiples of ten and eight. So that'd be ten, twenty, thirty, forty, and so on. And then for eight, we'd have eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two, forty, and so on. And here's our least common multiple. So now we want both denominator to be forty. 
So we'll have 7 tenths minus 3 eighths. And since 10 times 4 is equal to 40, we're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 4. Remember, this is like multiplying by 1. And since 8 times 5 is equal to 40, we're going to multiply both the top and bottom by 5 here. So now we have 28 fortieths minus, this would be 15 fortieths. So now we have a common denominator of 40, stays the same. And now we subtract the numerators, 28 minus 15 is equal to 13. And this fraction does not simplify because 13 and 40 don't have any common factors other than one. Let's take a look at two more examples. Here we have 5 twelfths minus 1 fifteenth. So the first step here is to identify the LCD or least common multiple of 12 and 15. If we can look at these two numbers and recognize that 60 would be the LCD, that's great. If not, we can always list multiples of both 12 and 15. So for 12, we'd have 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, and so on. For 15, we'd have 15, 30, 45, 60, and so on. Here's our least common multiple of 60. And now we'll write equivalent fractions with a denominator of 60 for both fractions. Since 12 times 5 is equal to 60, we're going to multiply both the top and bottom by 5. And since 15 times 4 is equal to 60, we'll multiply the top and bottom by 4. Here we have 25 sixtieths minus 4 sixtieths. Denominator is the same, so we keep the same denominator and subtract the numerators. 25 minus 4 is equal to 21, but 21 and 60 do share a common factor of 3. To show this, we can write 21 as 3 times 7 and 60 as 3 times 20. So here's the common factor of 3 that simplifies to 1. And so our simplified difference is 7 twentieths. Now for our last example, we have 2 minus 5 fourteenths. So to make 2 into fraction form, we'll write 2 over 1. And now the LCD, or at least common multiple of 1 and 14, is just going to be 14. So we'll have 2 over 1 minus 5 over 14. We can drop these parentheses. And now we can multiply 2 over 1 by 14 over 14. So this is going to give us 28 fourteenths minus 5 fourteenths. Denominator stays 14, and we subtract the numerators. And 28 minus 5 is equal to 23. And this fraction does not simplify, so we have our difference. I hope you found this helpful.